Hello, my name is Nina Gregu. I'm the business administrator for Grace Point Fellowship. I was speaking to my millennial grandson about the coronavirus. This is his first experience with something like this. But if you're as old as I am, it is not your first time around the mountain. In my grammar school years, early 1950s, the world was plagued with the polio virus. The virus was both paralyzing and deadly. Many survivors lived in iron lungs. When a vaccine was developed, I remember lining up in the halls at school and was given a sugar cube to eat that was um, saturated with the vaccine. This was done across the nation in mass for mass inoculation of, of the population. And then, like now, people felt that they were caught in circumstances beyond their control. And then, like now, there were many calls to prayer for God's intervention. And then, like now, God intervened, intervened in different ways. Many are aware of direct miracles, such as a healing that has no other explanation. But oftentimes, He works with and through people. In today's issue, God is working through people. When He uses us, He has a part, and we have a part. First and foremost is the medical community, as they use the gifts that God has given them to develop testing procedures, treatments, and vaccines. And then there is the gift of caring, as we help and care for each other, and to participate in a community and shelter-in-place process to protect ourselves and others. This kind of event is not unforeseen. In John 16, 33, Jesus tells us, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will find, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. When your world gets out of control, God is in control, and he wants us to rely on him. Even though you have concerns and don't feel at peace, talk to him often and listen. As he tells us in Psalm 46.10, Be still and know that I am God. Find that quiet place to be still and let the peace of the Creator come over you.